Hi everyone, Kelly here. Welcome to day 29 of Squaretober and all the other art challenges. But Squaretober is my own personal art challenge where I use a 4x4 four four inch piece of watercolor paper, make a small piece of art on it, and upload the video every day in October. I hope you're doing well. I feel like today needs to be a very chill, it's Saturday night, we're just doing a little art. No pressure, just art and pleasure. I spent the day working with my camera, learning all of the settings. My husband installed a little monitor for me so I could see what was happening a little bit better and a new boom arm so I can articulate the head of the camera and get different angles. Let me know in the comments what you think of the quality of the video and if you see any improvement. I'd like to hear from you and know what you think. After spending the day working with the camera and playing with all the different settings, around five o'clock it was finally time that I could start working on the art. And I had a few false starts, but that's okay. Everything's a warm up. And then I ended up with pen and ink because I just felt like drawing. No painting today, just my pen and my ink and my paper. The leaves are beginning to fall and tomorrow we'll have to do some yard work. We're just going to mulch though. There aren't enough leaves yet to pile into big piles and jump into yet. But soon, very soon, we'll be able to do that. There's no need to rush tonight. I'm allowing myself to really analyze the way I'm feeling and think about the kinds of lines I want to make in order to represent exactly how I'm feeling tonight. I'm really feeling very relaxed and introspective. I'm feeling a little like I would like to kind of cozy in. I'm thinking about spending time outside with a little fire in the cold, crisp air with a nice hot cup of tea with a little, just a touch of honey in it. Something soothing and cozy to keep me warm while I'm enjoying the cool air and the bright sunshine. Sometimes I like a little solitude, just time to reflect on all the changes that are coming, all the changes that have happened, things that I'm preparing for, progress that's been made, and progress still yet to be made. It's not a sad thing, it's just a quiet time, kind of like hibernation, not as long, but taking refuge in my little cave, away from all the noise of social media, television, news obligations, responsibilities. Sometimes it's nice to just kick back a little bit, get a little perspective, 
Take some time away. Be apart. It's okay to do that for yourself. Because when you're done and you come back, you're more whole. You're more ready to take on the challenges and be there for the people who depend on you. It's okay to let a little grass grow under your feet. Take some respite in the shade. Take a little time for yourself. It's okay. Self-care is very important. It is not a selfish thing. When you take care of yourself, you give yourself boundaries and room to perform your own maintenance, which helps you to be more resilient, more empathetic, more caring for other people. Leave a comment and tell me how you make time to care for yourself and what you do to recharge. And I want to take a moment to say I'm very grateful to those of you who've been part of this challenge with me and who've participated. And if you're new here and you enjoyed this video, please consider giving it a like and a thumbs up and maybe subscribing. For now, I bid you a fond farewell and hope that you're doing very well and I'll see you in tomorrow night's video. Good night.